Mac OS X Server 1.0, released on March 16, 1999, is the first operating system released into the retail market by Apple Computer based on Next technology. It was the final release of the product codenamed Rhapsody, which was an interim combination of the OpenStep system and Mac OS 8. Although Mac OS X Server 1.0's graphical look and feel was a variation of the Platinum theme from Mac OS 8, its infrastructure is based on the OpenStep operating system instead of the classic Mac OS. The resulting product gave users a preview of the operating system that was to become Mac OS X. Mac OS X Server was never officially known simply as Mac OS X, and was ultimately obsolesced by Mac OS X v10.0 in 2001. Design Server 1.0 contains a mix of features from the classic Mac OS, NeXTSTEP in Mac OS X. Like classic Mac OS, it has a single menu bar across the top of the screen, but file management is performed in Workspace Manager from NeXTSTEP instead of the classic Mac OS Finder. The user interface still uses the Display PostScript based window server from NeXTSTEP instead of the Quartz-based window server, which would appear a year later in Mac OS X public beta. Unlike any version of classic Mac OS, windows with unsaved content display a black dot in the window close button like NeXTSTEP did. The dock and the aqua appearance were not included. These were added later in Mac OS X. Carbon, essentially a subset of classic Mac OS API calls, was also absent. This meant that the only native applications for OS X Server 1.0 were written for the Yellow Box API, which went on to become known as Coco. Furthermore, Apple's own Firewire was not supported. Server 1.0 also includes the first version of a netboot server, which allows computers to boot from a disk image over a local network. This was particularly useful in a school or other public machine setting, as it allowed the machines to be booted from a single OS copy stored on Server 1.0. This made it difficult for users to damage the OS by installing software a euro as soon as they signed out, the machine would reboot with a fresh OS from the netboot server. To run classic Mac OS applications, Mac OS X Server 1.0 includes the blue box, which essentially ran a copy of Mac OS 8.5.1 in a separate process as an emulation layer. Blue Box would eventually be renamed as the classic environment in Mac OS X, featuring the latest version of Mac OS 9. Release History See also, Rhapsody, Mac OS X Server References External links, Mac OS X Server 1.0 to 1.2 System Requirements, Mac OS X Server 1.2, What's New? By, Scott Anguish